So when picking the stem for the stem crafting, you want to pick those with the eye, they say. The eye here, you can see. Like not too small, not too big. Like it's a little thing that shows up in between the branch, is it? Yep. So that's you, called you, can, eye. you can see here, uh -huh. it, is, it is a little bit small, this one as well. It's and small. this is not good because it, it has already become a leaf. Mm. It's growing to leaf, so it's not good. So when you want to choose the stem, you choose this one. You want to choose like very small eye. Is there like an eye that's too small or something? Yeah, here. This eye is too small. Wait, yeah. Okay. So this one is too small. The one that's just nice is this one. Yeah. Okay. Got All right. Um. Next, we will show you about how do we take the cut the stem from the tree. When you got the stem, you don't want the stem to be too long. And you don't want to leave any leaf, any leaf on the stem. So you cut the upper part after cutting the leaves and leaving only two on top. So after you choose your stem, you, now it's time to cut down the tree and do stem grafting. So when the sapling grow up to be about the human height you have to cut down the upper part and leave one branch and later we'll do the stem grafting on the right side there the reason you leave one branch is because to draw the water for the stem to leave after you cut down the tree now it is time to open the window for the stem grafting you have to cut out the shape of a long rectangular by using razor or any small knife that is uh, suitable for the work. After cutting the window, now it is time to prepare the stem. For the stem, you have to cut off the outer skin, only the outer skin, and do not cut too deep because it might harm the Stem itself. After you cut the outer skin, in the end, then you have to sharpen it into an arrow shape. After that, you have to pull out the skin of the window and then you put the stem in between the skin and the plant itself. After that, you have to cut off the excessive skin, leaving only the lower part to hold the stem itself. After putting the stem into the window, now you have to open more space for the window so that it doesn't leave any space when you do the wrapping part. Leaving more space, you cause more water to go inside the plant, which might cause the fail which might cause the failure of the stand crafting. Now you have to use the plastic wrapper to wrap around the window itself. You have to pull it very tight during this process so it doesn't leave any hole or space for the water. Repeat the process until the window itself is fully covered and you have to pull the wrapper very tight throughout the whole process. It is to ensure that there is no water going into the wrapper or there is any water evaporation formed inside the wrapper itself. The wrapper has to go behind the plant and then wrap over it again until it is fully sealed and also leave the top part which is the leaf outside of the wrapper and the upper part has to be closed very tight so again the water doesn't go in. The most important thing in this step is to have a long enough wrapper to actually cover the whole stem itself because if you don't have enough wrapper the water might go in. So two weeks later after the stem grafting 
it is time to open some space on the wrapper. We have to cut here, 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 and here. After you cut the upper part, you have to cut the below part because after you cut that, the water will go in. If the water goes in, it doesn't flow out, you accumulate there. So the plant might die when there's too much water. So about a month later, you can start remove the wrapper itself. Yep. Right, from this tree, you can see how many attempts we did the stem grafting in order to get it to be successful. One, two, and then three. So you can you can look at this stem here. It is complete completely dry off together with the wood itself. So there's no leaf up there. So which means this is a uh, fail. So let me uh, show you the success example. Here is the success example. You can see that there's a uh, green leaf and then this part here is very different from the lower part which is the dry part and now you can see the stem itself is uh, com yeah, it's connected and then it is part of the tree itself is it, is it based on the color that you can see it or I mean like it's green color or yeah it it's like green color and then you can see the leaf is kind of fresh ah, okay. yeah okay got it cool Here, here is another example. You can see the we tie we tie the stem up to the tree itself to support it. Because if you don't tie it, it will be too soft. So the stem is not strong enough to grow on itself. Mm -hmm. Yep. How do you know when do you actually tie and when do you not tie? Or do you always just tie all the time? Do you? Yeah, you do always tie them up. Right. So you can support the growing process. And this is after we take off the plastic? Or? Yeah. Alright, cool. Uh -huh. So uh, here is another example how you tie the stem to the... This is a bamboo, sh bamboo stick. So you can see uh, the stem itself is taller than the tree. Now, if you don't support it, it will fall over. So you actually have to put a stick here and then tie it tied it to the stick here so cool okay, uh, let me just zoom in a bit <laughs> to show we need to zoom in a bit to show so this is the original one right this is the oh, sorry this yeah, is yeah. The, this is the original tree the one that's so, uh, uh, kampong lah yeah. so the stem is grow from here you can the see the stem has grown from here that's where we did the grafting alright yeah. so when it grows too tall if you don't tie it mm -hmm. It will fall over, right? Which is not good for the stem to grow. Uh. So you have to put a stick to support it. Okay. 